Okay. Good evening again, um, dear Tibetans, leaders, new members, old members. Um, today is another wonderful day that we are having our trainings, and I'm so delighted to be with you again. Of course, um, today is so, I've been so excited. I've been working since morning like crazy with a lot of exciting things that are coming in the community so far. My name is Mbe Derek, for those that are seeing me for the very first time. I am one of the many voices of TBC around the globe. I am here to help you understand things that you don't understand before. I'm like your facilitator. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to train you to become successful as far as your TBC journey is concerned. So please make sure that you put down your questions because after our brief presentation, you will be free to ask your question in any areas that you don't understand, especially our, fo our focus for this week. Of course, our focus for this week, I'll be sharing my, uh, let me quickly share my um, uh, uh, screen with you so that we, we go to uh, the blog, okay? Let's go to the blog and uh, see what is happening. Of course, we had a very, very great announcement today. And members are so excited with this announcement. What is this announcement all about? I mean, says that, um, let us see, let us look at something here. On desired results leads to opportunities for improvement, okay? Undesired results leads to opportunities for improvement. So, guys, if you are having results that you don't like, therefore we need improvement. Okay, and of course, that is what admin is doing so far. Guys, look at this. This is 2000 and uh, this is annual payment. This is when we were actually paying $10 uh, 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 yearly, and um, on the first, on the ninth. On the 1st of September 2018, we had about 200 signups. And later October, we had about, 1st, 2018, we had about uh, uh, 130 something signups. And November, that was during redemption, we had 332 signups. And also, uh, these were those that were paying and that were active. And on the 1st of December, we had 22 signups. 1st of January, 22 signups. 3rd of January, uh, 2nd of January again, uh, 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 we had three signups. <laughs> Guys, when I look at this, I say the, the admin is a magician. These three signups were those that actually paid for their admin fee. Of course, remember that um, admin had to do some adjustment. If not, TBC would have been dead by now. And look at March. March, we had about 91 signups. Admin has to pay all the bills. And I remember in this March, 2008, um, uh, 2019, this is the same match that admin pays a lot of bounty in Bitcoin to a lot of exhibitions um, uh, that win the uh, contest, the cruise contest. Admin had to pay them from their pocket. I was also one of the beneficiary of that, of that contest last year. I remember uh, in that match, people went home with about $5,000, $6,000, uh, uh, $3,000, $2,000, and most of those guys were like, we'll come back and we make TVC work. And wow, today you can't find them anymore. Most of them collected their money and they disappeared. Oh, wow, what a shame. Okay, guys. Um, anyway, that was by the way now. But look at, Admin decided to step in and did some adjustment. And this adjustment has shown some uh, uh, kind of growth when admin introduced the Bitcoin bounty and members are now earning Bitcoin, you can see from the 1st of uh, April, all right, May, June, July, August, September, October, guys, you can see the growth for the past three months. This is from October, all right, September, uh, sorry, uh, is it uh, August, sorry, August, September and October, you see that Admin brought the August promo. You see how they have been a major um, uh, growth. Of course, guys, Admin has been very transparent in our growth uh, so far because people like, they are like, they want Admin to do this, they want Admin to do that. But are you measuring the growth that we have so far? We have a lot of people coming on board, but only few are active, only few. 
And Admin has been paying all the bills from his pocket without asking us a dime because when you sell your CBC, the money goes to your pocket. Okay, the admin fee that you pay, your upline still have about 50% uh, in Bitcoin that he can collect as cash. So this August promo has really helped tremendously for growth. All right, you see August promo first, we have 500 and something signups. 9th September last month, we have 800 the 1st of August. So I mean, actually expected us to cement 50,000 members. I mean, expected 50,000 members to cement this growth because uh, August brought in about 100,000 new members using the admin's credit. But we failed to cement 50,000 because admin says that from having 50,000 members, this can help to develop our new blockchain where we can be able to carry very micro transactions, right? So let me say we didn't cement 50,000 members of 100,000 new members we brought in over the last two months on the first, as I didn't hope. But many will renew uh, uh, throughout the rest of the month, especially with the improvement I am going to announce in this article. Uh, keep your cement wet throughout the rest of this month as you walk through your personal referrals. We will reevaluate our success again on November 1st. I believe the lack of wet cement is the reason we had, we had undesired results on October 1st. Make sure to train all of your personal referrals on how to be prepared to pay their admin fee on November 1st so that, you are, so that your cement is wet enough to bond the new team growth on the first of each month. Guys, so there is something that the admin has mentioned here which is very important. Um, um, once you have undesired results, that calls a room for improvement. That's an opportunity to improve when you have undesired results. But it's rather unfortunate that when some people have undesired results, they change. They want to change instead of improving, they will, want, they will prefer to change. <laughs> Instead for them to improve what they are doing, they prefer to change and go and try something else. And when that one doesn't work, they try another, another thing. And when that one doesn't work, they try another one. They keep trying, trying, trying. Of course, you might die being uh, a trier. So you, you better improved on what you want. Uh, uh, you can do the same thing, but you improve to have a successful result. And that is what admin is doing here so far. So there is one thing we need to know. We need to train our members. Guys, I have more than 4,000 people in my back, in my referrals. And right now, the rate at which I respond to people is very low now because I am concentrating to train. I want to train all those people to multiply, to do exactly what I'm doing. So I, that's why I encourage everybody to be on this training because once you're on this training, if you are not doing my training, you ask me a question, I will not respond. You must join my trainings. It's very important. Because there is no reason why you won't join my training, but you want to be writing me on WhatsApp or Telegram or whatever. I won't respond to you. I'm sorry. I have 4,500 people to take care of. If you need my time, join my training. All right. Of course, the trainings are free. So you can share the links uh, uh, um, um, to get more people to understand what we are doing. Guys, look at this graph curve. This graph curve is showing that, you see, we have moved from, the, the graph was meandering. The graph was not straight, okay? So we are gradually uh, trying to see that the graph should go completely vertical. You see, um, here we, had, we, are, we, are, we are approaching, okay? Of course, we are approaching uh, uh, a certain amount, reasonable amount, so far, of course, our objective is to reach at least 3,500,000 3, people very fast, okay? And from there, the graph will be tilted and the graph will um, uh, be a kind of straight, right? So that is the result. We have about 3.4 members, 3,400,000 so far, and we are going to go into 3.46 so far. But we want to get to 3.5. I pray that we have that by this month end. And I think that if we quickly uh, help our members to use this promotion that we have so far, everything will balance. 
Now, admin says that, as you can see by the chat above, admin credit have made a huge difference in our speed of community growth. Before you know it, we will be growing by 20,000 new members a day, then 50,000 a day, then 100,000 a day, leading to millions joining daily, bringing the distribution phase of TBC to a quick end. Since merchants get the best offer when it comes to uh, or when it comes to getting 100 admins credit a week, many of these new members will be uh, merchants that will take advantage of the passive residual income that comes from Bitcoin bounties. Large passive residual income leads to merchants being comfortable in accepting Kringles for payment for their goods and services. Growth is the answer to all of our concern. Guys, you see this? I mean, says growth is the answer to all of our concern. If we are not using the admin's credit properly to cement our growth, then there is a problem. So we have to help our people that we bring in using the admin's credit to grow because it's very important. If we don't use the admin credit judiciously, then we are just wasting our time and we are not cementing what we actually want. So guys, big announcement. This is where we need to listen. As of October 1st, that was yesterday, all active members will get two admin credit a week. Use it or lose it. I believe keeping members engaged weekly will, uh, with admin credit will be a big improvement over keeping them engaged monthly. Guys, listen again. As from October 1st, all active members get two admin credit a week. And admin says that use it or lose it. So all those who be active, active means that you're paying your eight grains of gold, all those that will be active will be having uh, two admin credit a week. This is awesome. Thank you, admin. We are we were having it per month, and admin want to accelerate growth, and admin has decided to bring it to two a week for all active members. So instead of bringing even, uh, uh, um, um, so instead of breaking even on November 1st, when paying the admin fee, they can be in profit. They are five weeks in the month of October. So that could result in getting up to 10 admin credit to use within the month of October. Of course, you'll be having $12.5 in Bitcoin times 10 uh, will result to $125. And if you minus, if you minus the $25 admin fee, you are going to left with $100 in Bitcoin. Of course, that's what you can have in Bitcoin. So admin's credit can permit you to make a whole lot of Bitcoin, guys. And what happens? If you are having two admin credit a week, okay, within five, if, if that month has five weeks, uh, we are going to have 10. You're going to have 10. And when all these guys that you bring in, when you renew, when they all renew their account, you make $12.5 per person in Bitcoin times the 10 people that will come in as a result of admin credits. Of course, guys, they are going, you're going to have $125. And once you, you, from that, you can remove $25 to pay the administrative fee. And you make a profit, guys, a huge profit. So guys, we should be making a whole lot. Remember that this admin credit is not all about Bitcoin. You can make, uh, you have Kringles, you have cookies, you have the send button meeting. You can do a live broadcast. Send button meeting enables you to earn cookies. That will be transformed to Kringles. You can have live broadcast. The live broadcast can permit you to earn more cookies. You can do transactions. And this admin's credit can permit you to have up to 250 Kringles in your account, which is about, which is about $2,500 today. So the admin credit is huge. It's a whole package. And once you have the admin credit, within 48 hours, if you bring in six people, you have one TBC in the month of November. Oh my God. This is the simplest thing that can ever happen to you that can make you to, have, uh, uh, to, have, uh, 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 to become a millionaire or a billionaire. So use it or lose it. Means you will get two admin credit immediately when you complete payment of the admin fee, even when payment is made by using admin credit for our newest members. Then you must use both admin credit during the weekly contest period. That will trigger you getting two more admin credit at the beginning of the next contest period automatically. 
If you only use one credit during a contest period, then you lose the other admin credit when the next contest period starts because you will only get two and not three. In other words, the admin credit don't carry over from week to week or accumulate. Get two admin credit a week, use it or lose it. This new incentive should keep our newest member motivated and engaged, and they stand to have profit to lose it to lose if they don't renew monthly. That should help a lot to lock in our growth month over month and provide the needed funds to develop the technology we need to keep mass adoption. So guys, remember that we want to have a stable technology by next year. And admin is struggling to see that uh, we have all the necessary tools that it needs to bring people in and help them to understand what we are doing. So by so doing, uh, we are going to have we are going to have them pay for their admin fee, and that is going to help them to uh, 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 renew their account. We make bounty, and that will also bring funds in our system for admin to develop a very uh, good technology by next year, 2020. Guys, of course, this is so awesome. This is so, so, so uh, 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 wonderful what the admin has for us. So I'm going to take, I'm going to open the chat for people that want to talk. You might want to, um, um, yeah, I want to take some people impression on what we have with this admin's credit so far. Or if people have questions, then uh, please do ask your question. You might want to raise your hand if, um, let me take Reverend Emma from Ghana. Reverend, please uh, unmute yourself and go ahead. Yeah, yes. thank you, you Mr. Embe. God bless you. Throw the volume of your stage yeah. around. Hello, God bless you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, my question is, uh, I have paid in advance till November. And uh, I don't know whether it is accepted that way. And will I benefit from the October every week? Will I benefit from it? Does your account expire in November? I said, yes, I've, I've, I paid my admin fee to November. Okay, to November. Means that yes. you pay like you pay like. So it will expire in November. Yeah, yes. Wait, when was and the last time I want to paid? find out whether I paid in September. Ah, okay, you paid in September. I paid September. I paid September October. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It will expire in November. It will expire yes. in November first. No, you should you should benefit because you have been active. You have been active from the bounty okay. program since September, so you should benefit that. Yeah, I started from August. No, you have it. You and have it. I paid. Yes, you okay. have it. Don't worry. Okay. You have it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let me take another question on this. Or uh, if people have some reactions concerning that, please unmute yourself. Or uh, you can just indicate so that I see your hand. Um, I'm looking at the board to see those that want to say something. You just unmute yourself. If you have a question or a reaction with this, please go ahead. Let me read the chat box. Uh, Mr. Optimist says that honestly, after analyzing this, this very post, I have been wondering how TVC admin has been able to keep things moving in this platform. Of course, I wish people know the thousands of dollars that admin is paying for all the transactions that we are doing. The support department, graphics, uh, web developers, uh, uh, security, commissioner, this. I wonder if you guys really understand. And you have seen the result. Admin has been so transparent. The results are there. Admin has been paying most of the things from his pocket from his personal pocket. When it was $10 per year, nobody was paying. And people were thinking that 200,000 has been paid. I wish you know how much has been spent. We only think about what is coming in, but we don't think about what is going out. Okay? <laughs> we have to pay all these developers. CBC is not running by robots or some kind of mystery. They have to pay all those engineers for it to keep running. But we have seen the result. It has been so, so, so low, right? It has been so, so low. So um, honestly, Mr. Optimist, you are right. Admin has been doing most of the payment, has been doing most of the payment from his pockets. 
Don says that I came late. I was from Razor Talk. Sure, everyone is fine here. Yes, Don, we are all fine. I'm sure you were trying to um, talk about CBC in your radio show. That's a great job. Reverend says that please have it. Okay, we just answered the question. Okay, guys, uh, let me take another um, a response or reaction. Mr. Optimist, are you there? Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, good evening, sir. It's nice to hear from all of you, especially being able to attend the meeting. And uh, I can't say it more than the thank you so much for all your efforts, your loyalty in TBC community and doing the best you can. In fact, you are pulling most of us to do like you, and we are getting up towards that. So thank well done. You. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So looking at what we see in that very blog post, I, I like, just like I put it down there, I can't comprehend how easy it could have been for admin to be doing all these things. But one thing I see in admin is that commitment and focus is the number one watchword that admin has been helping people to understand. But it's quite unfortunate that others are just busy calculating who what is coming in. <laughs> Going into admin's pocket. So, and uh, those people who are <laughs> right. calculating this are ones that are not paying. That justice. Those people calculating how much money admin is making on daily basis by through this admin fee, they are the very ones not paying. Not knowing that what admin is doing is benefiting them, even though they don't want to appreciate it. Right. So all I'm just saying is that commitment. Yeah, we lost you there. Okay. Maybe we'll come back to him. Yeah, Mr. Optimist, I don't know whether I can hear us, but it appears that uh, we lost you. Um, let me take another person, Mr. Jeremiah. Mr. Jeremiah, you're welcome. And uh, go ahead with your question. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Avery, and uh, good evening, everyone in the house. Good evening, Pastor Blessing, from my state, Nigeria. Thank I want you. to ask. We appreciate all your effort. Because uh, uh, at the point, I was so confused because I started there and so did the line. And uh, I'll be following up. So I'm so much impressed. And I believe uh, being a particular in this meeting, I know it's how in my limit. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Because I'm learning. Yeah, of course. But there are some points that I have noticed. Yeah. Um, we appreciate our means for setting up the... It's actually breaking. It seems like it to help us all. Because we know that the poverty is a global building. Uh, because CDC is something that has come to stand up. If we look into our wallet and see what is inside, some of us that are really invested, if we can take CBT seriously, I think poverty will be a thing of the past to our coming income generation. Right. But some of us just sit back and then we are looking at the millions in the wallet and also calculating what has been passed. <laughs> but you are not looking at what has been created in your own wallet to see what wealth they have created for you. So me, I want to like say it because I know you are doing a great job. You cannot be in all country at the same time. But to all those great masters that we have in various countries, if there is a way you can uh, at least maybe bring them together so that they can take a radio program that will be able to bring in so many masters, especially in Nigeria. When you want to do such a thing in Nigeria, they want to see for themselves. And right now, some masters have come up, they are selling goods and the services for 50% uh, CBC, 50% uh, cash, and some other percentage like that. And there's also a flyer that I saw recently. I put it in the blog here. 
so much uh, mr jeremiah thank you so much for uh, that great contribution i want to assure you that we have a lot of great exhibitions from nigeria great leaders i'm seeing mr amechi here madame adeola mr mds there are just so many williams there are just so many here and of course my duty is to re uh, duplicate myself because i cannot be everywhere all the time so, Mr. Jeremiah, I want to say that you guys can come together and do something for yourself to help your community. And also, um, concerning radios and TV, you know, each country varies, all right? Each country varies. Let me take, for example, Uganda. Uganda, um, I'm trying to guide them when they are on the radio. For example, when you're on the radio, you don't have to be uh, clamoring that TBC is giving you billions and all that. That is not good. Because when that happens, the government will start thinking that TBC um, uh, has, is giving a lot of money and tomorrow it can become a problem. And they will start doing a kind of investigation. If you're not careful the way you're using your languages, you might, um, you might end up, uh, they might end up uh, stopping that program. But the advantage with Uganda is that Uganda, um, they, are, they are president is encouraging blockchain technology as well as cryptocurrency. So they have high advantage for that. So sometimes I tell people that when you are going to the radio or to the TV, you have to be very careful because the TV is owned, is owned by the airlines. Maybe you don't know. Private TV, private television channels, um, um, uh, it's easy to, to assess most of them, but you have to be careful because they, they, there is a whole system of control. You will never see me on the TV. It's not like, I, I, it's not like um, I cannot go, but I go once in a while. Most of the times, I will send my assistants, I will send my lawyer, I will send other people to go to the TV. I don't like, I don't, I don't really like to go there, you know, <laughs> because I know what it is. What is important now for us is to train ourselves and have a very strong foundation. We need, we need a, a foundation that is very, very strong. I know we have a concern with the number of people, and we want that number to increase. And going to the radio house, television sets, and all that. Honestly, if you guys are planning to do that, you need to be guided. And I want to thank you for calling my concern on this. You can guide, you can group yourself, the leaders, the merchants, you group yourself, and I'll guide you. And I'll guide you how to go about it so that you don't go fuck up. Because 
the television is owned by the very people that are creating poverty. Maybe you don't know. <laughs> it's owned by them. The radio stations are owned by them. So we have to be careful the way we use our tongue. Remember that we are playing by the rule. And once you start going against their rule, you, it, it becomes like you are against them. And when that happens, they start fighting us. We don't want people to get, uh, we, don't want, we don't want to fight. We are not fighting any government. But we are playing by the rule. We are, we are not doing any violence. We are not claiming that we are so strong and we can fight them. That's not what we want. We are peace-loving people. And we want to do things our own way without creating chaos, without violence, without um, any form of um, illegal activities, right? So we are kind of play by the rule. So, sir, Jeremiah, thank you so much for that great contribution. Come together with the leaders. Let us talk. We can create a forum for that. We can create a forum for those that want to go to the radio houses. But know that the foundation now is peer-to-peer mouth to mouth, um, internet to internet. And before we know it, remember that when you start going to the radio house, you need funds. When you're going to the TV house, you need funds. And once you're not, you not able to raise all that funds, then it become a problem. So <laughs> all those things, all those factors need to be put in place, you know? So I can guide you, but um, the best way now is for us to uh, train the people we are bringing them one-on-one, -on one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-two. And before we know it, we have a very, very strong foundation. Okay? Okay, guys, um, let me go to the next person. We have Mr. MDS. I'm seeing his hands here. Mr. MDS, thank you, and you are welcome. You are doing a tremendous job at that part, in that part of Nigeria. I'm sure you can work hand-in-hand -hand with uh, Jeremiah, and you guys can come out with something. <laughs> MDS, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you very much, my president. And uh, I really like the response you give to this uh, very last uh, contribution because when you talk of uh, radio, I personally have used two radios in Nigeria to promote services. I use Bond FM. Bond FM, you that you are in Nigeria, you can confirm that. In Bond FM, I was uh, uh, promoting TBC there. Then when it comes to a time, they need to ask my presenter to stop it. That is not allowed. Right. Then that presenter needs to call me. He said they don't allow them to promote anything cryptocurrency. Right. And there's another people at Osho State, they were doing that before, promoting TBC on radio also. They stopped them that uh, cryptocurrency is not allowed to be making noise like that on radio. Then that is how I stopped in Lagos. Then I now moved to uh, Family FM at Abi Okuta. That one, they accept mentioning TBC and others. Now, when you talk of radio, it's like what uh, my president has said now. He has said it's, it's not the issue of radio. What we really need here, it is you and I. It is mouth to ears, not from radio to people. It is true that the radio can uh, quickly spread the news all around, but a lot of people, when they hear it from radio, what they will say is that they will just count it as MMM. They will count it as something networking and all that. So they won't pay good attention to it than when they, you come in contact with them on one on one. For example, if you talk of uh, TVC now, the way I uh, introduce TVC to people now, if not that I want you to know what I'm talking about, I will not mention TBC at all. <laughs> right. Because I, I, I introduce vision to you that you need to key into this vision now for the future. And I want to say this to those that is, if you are a newcomer, uh, newcomer to TBC, I want you to have it at the back of your mind that what you are doing now, the community you are joining now, is not the community for today alone, but for the community for tomorrow. Right. As you are joining the CBC now, you are creating a better future for yourself and your generation. But if you are looking at CBC as CBC to be, to be something for now, 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 that means you are going to fall out. As you fall in, you are going to fall out again because you are not seeing deep. You are just seeing it as something to do business with and to make a profit and then relax. And CBC right. is not like that. You must understand CBC to uh, uh, extend that. This thing, I want to use it to make 
a better future for myself and the generation to come after me. Then, when you understand this, then you are free to go. Then, secondly, about the trade fair, I'm telling you, I put total counsel to anything they call trade fair in Nigeria now. I don't support any trade fair. And the reason why for this, anyone to tell me that you have a good trade fair you want to do, that means you are going to tell me that apart from anything, gate fee, anything, anything, you already have your money you want to use to, uh, to sustain that trade fair. Right. Not to rely on the gate fee. That out of the gate fee, you want to use it to now buy something that people will come for trade fair. We should understand that. I've noticed that in Nigeria that people are just using that. You may say I'm talking against Nigeria because I'm in Nigeria. So I need to focus <laughs> on Nigeria. Nothing concern me with other countries. But to Nigeria, don't tell me that you want to do a trade fair. You now be uh, capitalized on the gate fee that people will pay. That is from there you are going to uh, take money to buy goods to give to people. No, it's not done in that way. If you want to do a good trade fair, you should have your own money and you should know that you are not requesting for any cash. You want to use, you have the money, you want to use it to, uh, to acquire more free goods from people. For example, maybe you see someone that wants to invest in CBC now, that I want to save my money. I've already told people that it is a wrong statement to say you are investing in CBC again now. This the right statement is that I'm saving my money in CBC currency. You are not investing in TBC, but you are saving your money in TBC. So if you are saving your money in TBC, you see someone that wants to save his money in TBC, you can take that money and say, okay, instead of me to just uh, take this money alone, let me use it to promote TBC in another way. You take the money, you go and buy what you can buy, you put it down, you call people to come and shop with their okay. Kringle. You use that to give the person, to present the Kringle back to that person. That is the right trade fair. Not all those ones they are carrying up and down. All <laughs> the trade where they are saying, I will not mention now. I know of the trade where I've, uh, I've involved into to promote for people that the them, I'm the one that, that refund the people's money. So for you to know that when you talk of trade fair, I have the idea of that trade fair. That is one they are called about thing that is so hard or, or open to everyone. As Abel Kota, I will not mention the rest. I will just only mention that because that one I mentioned that one. So I will not mention the rest. So when you talk of to promote CBC, you are you can't promote CBC with trade fair. Okay. You have to promote CBC by yeah. setting up having meeting with people, educate them, let them know what CBC is all about, let them know the vision. That is how you can promote CBC correctly. Okay. God bless you. Thank you so much, uh, NDS, for your contribution. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, uh, what we are just doing here, we, are, we want to ponder ideas and uh, uh, guidelines and guide members in case they want to do anything. We know, we know that a lot has happened, a lot has happened in the past, and uh, it's all about guiding people. And honestly, I have a broad experience as far as TBC is concerned. And uh, 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 what, is, what is really important for us right now is our admin's fee, use it correctly and focusing on our downlines or our referrals. That is, that is the most important thing right now. I'm sure that when we shall have a great number, many of these things will come. Many of these things will happen naturally. A lot of things will just happen naturally without us imposing it. As far as we are doing things now well, as far as we are not abusing members, we are not collecting money from members, we are not doing things that are not in alignment with what the administration wants. More, many of things will come naturally. Okay, let me go to the chat box. I have a lot of messages in the chat. Mr. Pascal says that I have been away from internet for long. Please, I don't really understand the admin credit gift. Is it for those that have downlines or any active member in the TBC co uh, community? Okay, uh, Mr. Pascal, uh, the admin credit permits you to bring in new people. If you are active and you have paid your eight grains of gold, about $25, uh, you have two admin credit per week. And it enables you to bring two people uh, per week using the admin's credit to pay for. And the admin's credit will permit those people to have Kringles in their accounts. They can participate in, uh, uh, in the Cookie Rewards program, uh, doing their live broadcast, and they can earn money using the credit. And each month, when they renew their accounts by paying the same $25, you are going to have half of it in Bitcoin. 
that you can withdraw as cash. Okay, and it's only for active members. If you are not active, uh, if your account is not active, then you can't have that. You can't have that opportunity. Mr. Blessing AG says that we can't thank admin enough. And Mr. Day, thank you so much, sir. Okay, um, we have somebody says that. Please, I have a question. I am a merchant and um, um, I, have, I haven't given admin credit to register. What can I do? No two when we are getting November reward. Are we paying in Bitcoin? You are a merchant. I want to get your question again. I'm a merchant and I haven't gotten uh, admin credit to register. What can I do? Okay, please. I would like you to check your account area. Okay, I want to check your account area and see if um, uh, once, let me share my screen with you. Many people don't know where to have the admin's credit. Once you are a merchant and you have registered, let me show you where to check the admin's credit. You log into your Kringle Cash back office. Okay, once you log into your Kringle Cash back office, let me go to my Kringle Cash uh, 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 back office and I show you where to check. Because some people don't know where to check. But remember that if we don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. Okay, and you must make sure that your document have been reviewed. If you are a merchant, the first thing you must make sure is that for you to start having the admin's credit, you must, your document has, must have been reviewed so that you can have up to 100 credit per week. It means that when you click to merchant listing registration, you must, your, your, your document must have showed admin reviewed. If it is not showing admin reviewed, then you can't have those credit. And once it is reviewed, you come here on accounts, you click on your accounts, you go to admins credit. You click on admins credit. And once you click on admins credit, you have two here. I think I have one left. You have two here. And once you use these two, you have another uh, two. Once you use these two, you have another two, and so on and so forth. You can use it to bring in new people. And the admin credit is used to bring new people, or you can use to pay members' account that they have never paid before. Okay, but if there are members that they have they have paid before, then you won't be able to um, uh, pay, use the admin's credit. Okay, Pascal, I hope that question is, I mean, sorry, uh, Mr. Techno, I can't see your name. I hope that question is answered for you. Mr. Mechi says that the network is not cooperating. All I'm saying is that those complaining are the ones not doing anything in the community, but that is not stopping the serious minded submission. Of course, we are moving forward. Uh, Mr. Segun says that, boss, there is no problem about going on air about CBC. Uh, the, those ones, they stop uh, duped thousands of people. That was the reason why the NBA, Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, to send memo in order to stop them. Okay. All right. NBC. Okay. Yes. Um, of course. That's why I encourage everybody who wants to go to the radio station to be um, to be guided, okay? You should be guided. And of course, it's not a priority right now. Our priority now is to use the admin credit and train the people we have brought into the system. We should focus on our referrals. We should focus on those that we have brought into the system. That's our point of, that's our focal point right now. And that's what the admins want, okay? So going to the radio houses costs you money and all that. So, and you have to be guided with what you have to say. Because if you say things that are not correct, you don't ask you to stop and you lost credibility. We don't need all that now. Okay, uh, Mr. Don says that yes, in Uganda, they haven't legalized cryptocurrency, but our president support blockchain. Cryptocurrency throws some ministers, are, uh, um, though some ministers are not supporting, but they just need information. Our president told them not, uh, not to be dogmatic. <laughs> I think I love your president. Thank you so much. And, uh, I'm looking forward to join, uh, to see you in Uganda, probably meet the Minister of Finance. And of course, I'll also give my own point of view as far as cryptocurrency and CBC in particular is concerned. So let's keep doing what we are doing with love and respect. Before we know it, most of these high personalities, they will know that they, they just needed the information because they have, there's a serious debate going on right now as far as um, cryptocurrency is concerned globally, not only in some countries, especially in the US and Asia and other Asian countries. Mr. Stephen said, Mr. Bay, how do I cash, how do I cash flow? Mr. Stephen, how do you cash flow? You cash flow by joining this training three times a week, bringing your members, we train them, 
they do transaction with you. And once they do transaction, if you want a one-on-one -on -one for me to talk on a one-on-one, -on -one, then we have to go on a partnership deal. Partnership deal means that I help you to talk to your people and when they lock in, when they pay in money, you have 50%, I have 50%. And you train them, you make sure that you train them, bring them to this, uh, to this training, and before you know it, you will start cash flowing, okay? It all requires work. I have been cash flowing for more than one year now, and I have worked my ass out. Nothing good comes easy. You need to work in for about six months, then before the graph will go like, like this, pew! I quite remember when I was signing up just about two people per week, one people per week. So it's a, it's a serious work, okay? You see somebody like Williams. Williams is winning this contest, and Kasimu, they are winning all the time because they have been working their ass out, and today you, you always find them in the winning board. It's not, it, it will not come in a, it's not a daily kind of thing, but you have to work, 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 work. It's like a hammer. When you use a hammer, you are hitting a wall. You hit, you hit, you hit, you hit, you hit. One day, it will just, bwah! that's how the breakthrough comes. So if you're that kind of person that you walk today, you go and rest, you walk, you want to go and rest. What are, what are you resting? You rest when you are done, okay? <laughs> you don't rest because you are tired. You rest when, you, even sometimes I am also very, very tired, but I'm not done yet. Have we ended poverty? What is, what is my why? My why should be the reason why I should be here every week. I have left, my friends have called me that I should come and drink some very good wine with them. And I tell them that, no, I can't. I have people to train. Yes, that is a sacrifice. I sacrifice time to train you, groom you people. Some of you, that you are calling me and you compensate me $50. President, I love what you are doing. Please just have this $50, $100. Of course, I appreciate. Some of you do transaction with me, I appreciate. So. We need to sacrifice. We need to be motivated. We need not to get tired. We need to keep hammering, 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 hammering until we break through. If not, if we just come in today and tomorrow you go, you come in for training and you go and spend one month and you say, ah, what are those people doing again for the training? Let me go and see again what they are doing there. You come. After two weeks again, you go and you come again. Of course, guys, do you think that I'm coming here because I'm broke? No, I'm coming here because this is my why. My why is humanity, and I need to train them. So what is your why? Is your why just because you want to make some one million, two million, and you disappear, and you think that you are, it's not enough. If it was all about money, I wouldn't come here, because without this training, I would still make money. So my why is to see that I duplicate myself. And for me to do that, it might take two years, it might take three years, it might take five years. And by the time I'm going for retirement, saving like a consultant in the TBC community, you guys must have been strong enough for me to go rest. So, guys, we need to keep doing this, doing it, doing it, doing it, until when we have gotten the breakthrough. And by the time we start kicking the butt of um, uh, poverty, poverty will start disappearing away from our lives. So, guys, I encourage all of you, come here for training, bring your people here for training, let them ask their question. You have first-hand information. So sign them up, bring them for training. Go do transaction with them. Simple. Sign them up, bring them for training, let them do transaction with you. As simple as that. I think that does not cost you anything. Okay, if you want a one-on-one -on, -one on me, you must pay. I don't do one-on-one -on -one anymore if you are not paying me. So if you want one-on-one, -on -one, come for training, ask your question, we tackle them. So that's it. Mr. Jeremiah says that, Please, sir, how can I use admin credit to pay for a registered member who have not paid back office before? Okay, you just go to your back account, uh, sorry, your back office, and uh, once you go to your back office, you come here, your account, you click on your account, you come to um, admin's credit, you click on admin's credit, and uh, you are going to find out the names of the person who are, these are people that have never paid for their back office. Let me see if I know somebody here. Um, pay, yeah, I know this guy. So this is somebody that joined since 2017. He has never paid. I would, I would just pay for him now, and I'll call him that I've paid. Okay, so I just paid. And once you paid, you have two that is coming again. And you can use it to pay for somebody that joins very long time ago and have never, have never used admin's credit. You just have, you have the list here. You can just check page one, page two, up to uh, what, what have you. 
and you can use it to pay for the people that have never paid for their uh, uh, clinical cash back office. So Jeremiah, I hope that helps. Okay, let me go to the next. Do we have another question? Okay, we don't have another question. Now, um, let me come to you. We have done with the chat box. Let me come to you. Do we have another person that wants to act or ask a question or have a reaction so far before we go? Another one person before we go? Okay, I'm seeing Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel, you are welcome. Uh, thanks, sir. I was uh, today. I've already started the registers on my member. Wow. But uh, I was uh, asking about uh, when uh, when uh, I register my new members. Okay. I've been given two admin credits, and those two admin credits I use them to sign to another members. So I was having those admin credit, but on the TBC account, it is not been seen like when it was on Augusti promo. So it will it been collected at the end of the of the year at December. They will get all the collection of their cookies at December. That was my question. For those that you are signing them, you are signing them up using admin credit. Remember that they also have two admin credit in their account that they can use. The new people you are bringing. Now yeah. you have to now train them to pay now in Bitcoin next month, so that when they pay, you also get paid. And how do you get paid? You get paid by um, using half. When they pay, you have half of the amount they pay. So you just train them to pay next month and let them bring in more people who also pays. At one point in time, you'll be having admin credit every week. And when people renew every month, you have enough to pay for your back office and have enough to use it. So just know that admin credits uh, expire after one month. Then you need to pay from your pocket. Right? Okay. That's why, that's why it is important to have a wet cement. Wet cement means that you train the people you are bringing in to use their two admin credit to bring another two and let them do the same. So that at the end of the month, everybody will be paying on the first. Everybody start paying and renew their account and everybody will get paid in Bitcoin because when those people renew, you have 50%. And you can withdraw that. Yeah. All right. Sounds Any other question? Any other question? As a Okay. There's no other question I already understand it for today because there was the challenge on when people I was telling them that they must pay later about the admin credit admin credit at the end of the month. So my first my first apply now was declining and told people it isn't like that that I'm lying them, but yeah, Mr. Why? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, do everything possible. The people you are bringing them, let them be attending this training. If they don't have time, send the recording to them, okay? Because some people might still be at work. Okay. Make sure you share recording with them some of the things that are happening. It doesn't cause, honestly, people are just afraid. People are just afraid. Yeah. The truth is, the truth is that uh, people don't understand the advantages of using the admin's credits. Once they understand the package, once they understand the package, then be, honestly, it's gone. It's gone. You, you don't have any other problem. They'll pay. They'll pay. It's a whole package. Because once you have the admin credit, you have Kringles in your account. You can buy stuff with the Kringles. You have the cookie rewards program. You can participate by watching the send button meeting, putting the keywords, and earn cookies. You have bounties that you can help people to come in and you collect Bitcoin. You have a whole package. You have a whole package. And if you bring six people within 24 hours, you can have up to uh, 100 million cookies, which is a 1 million Kringles, which is 1 TBC, which is 10 million USD. Oh my God. What else do you want? What else do you want? So you just need to give them the full package of using their admin's credit, okay? Yes, sir. All right. So, um, Blessing, I'm seeing your hands up. I don't know if Blessing have a question. Blessing, ask your yeah. question. Yes. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. We want to sincerely appreciate you 
for this platform where we can relate with you uh, with this great training we are receiving from your end. And at the same time, uh, we thank the admin for the great opportunity given to every one of us, at least to bring us from the realm of poverty. So uh, I asked this question the other time, and uh, you threw more, threw more light on it, but still I have not been able to get through to it. And the question is this, on the, I mean, you seen my merchant link to invite another merchant has been a problem. When I copy the link and I paste it on the dashboard, and I go through it, it's like uh, the same way of using it to register a new member, sign up a new member. So I, I don't really know how to go yeah. about it. Sir. Yeah, um, yeah, it's simple, you know? It's the same way like you want to register a new person. So let me share my screen with you. If, if we yes, go, if we have, let me say I want to register a merchant, uh, you must make sure that you have maybe admins credit, right? Or you have Bitcoin or you have bulk payment. Let me get my merchant um, uh, link. So when you grab the link, you come here, merchant, you copy the link and maybe you go yes, to sir. a new browser. And once you put the link, you uh, place the link there, right? You see, you come here, you select, I have admins credit. I, you can select admins credit, bulk payment, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Cash Center. And once you select, once you select this, maybe admins credit, you first of all put the email address of the merchant that you want to register. You put the email address of the merchant that you want to register. Then you come here, you click, you, you, if, if you want to pay with admins credit from your account, you, you, you select admins credit, right? And if you want to pay with bulk, just select what you want to pay. Honestly, the, two, the, the first two is easier. That's why when I have Bitcoin, I buy a lot of admin credit and keep. Because with, with bulk payment, uh, when I have Bitcoin, I, I buy bulk payment and keep because it's easy with bulk payment. With Bitcoin, it can take a couple of hours to confirm. So now once you select, once you put the email address of the merchant you want to register, you select what method of payment, then you continue, okay? You continue to step two. And they will send, they will tell you, you wait after a few seconds, they will tell you that you need to go to the, your account and um, approve the merchant. So you now go to your account, your credit cash. I mean, you, you come to your credit cash, you come here, you go to your account, approve registration, registration, you come here, you approve the registration, you have it here somehow, right? You have it here. And you click on approve. You can you will see either approve or reject, right? You see approve yes. or reject. So, okay, let me just do it for here. Like this one, you just click on approve. You can decline or you approve. So you click on approve like this, right? Once you click on approve, it means that you have approved the person's payment, right? Um, if you are using if you are using bulk payment or admin's credit, means that you have approved the person's payment. And then you now come here. That's why they say you have to pay first before you continue. You now go back. You put the person's email address. Okay. You, you now uh, click here. If you have already paid your account and are returning to complete your registration, enter your email address in the field above and click here without your email address. Sorry, without your email address in box above, this link is not valid. So you must, after you have approved that from your credit cash back office, you come here, you put the email address of the merchant and you click here. You can still continue to the, uh, 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 to the last page, which is complete registration. You now complete the registration and you can now access the person's account. So that is how you use it, okay? With that, you can easily use it to register whether a merchant or a, a new member. If you want to use with a new member, you are not going to use with the merchant link. You are going to use with the uh, referral link, okay? So that is how it works. I don't know if your question is answered so far. It's a blessing. It's answered. I appreciate okay. sir. Thank you so much. All right. Let me take the last person should be done. Then I'll read the chat box. Don, good evening from Uganda. Good evening to you. How are you? How are you there? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. I'm very good. Oh, today I was very, I'm very tired. I'm from radio show. I was talking about TV. So I told teacher people about TBC, they were calling phones, they were, where can I find you, my friend? This is a good thing. 
Right. And anyways, what I wanted to know, how do, how do I, what, how do you use bulk? Is it bulk payment, bulk payment, whatever? How do, how do I use it? Yeah, and, bulk. Uh, <clears throat> wait, yeah. another thing. I can't be alive talking with successful people and then remain poor. That's that's not. <laughs> I thank God for for that because these days back I I I I I I I started, I started production, but after realizing TBC, my friend, I, I can't go back in production. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you will soon pay people to produce. Okay, thank you. First, explain me about uh, that bulk, bulk payment. Yes, bulk payment is uh, a payment method that can enable you to pay many members at the same time. All right. Let's say, for example, you have 10 people that you want to pay at once and you don't want to use Bitcoin um, because uh, Bitcoin takes time to confirm. But you can use Bitcoin to buy bulk payment. You can use Bitcoin, Bitcoin to buy bulk payment. Meaning that you just come here, you are accounts, okay? You come to bulk payment. Mm. You click on bulk payments mm. and um, mm. you put, each bulk payment is about $25, okay? So you put, if you want to buy maybe two bulk payments, let me say I want to buy two bulk payments. I always buy a lot of bulk mm. payments. Let's say I want to buy two bulk payments, right? Once you put here, mm. you come here, you click on make payment with bulk, uh, 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 make payment with Bitcoin. You want to buy bulk payment. Bulk payment is used to register more people at the same time. It's like using Bitcoin, but you can buy directly from admin. You can buy bulk payment mm -hmm. directly from admin by using this method. Or you can buy from somebody that has it. You can buy from me. You can buy from Michael. You can buy from anybody. Or you buy directly from the admin. Now, once you buy, once you buy two, you click here. Once you, you only buy from two upward. You cannot buy one. That's why they say bulk. You buy much to, to register more people. So then you now click here. Uh, make payment with Bitcoin. This is the amount to purchase. You want to purchase five bulk payment. This is the amount to pay. You collect this address, you collect this, and you go to your wallet, your Bitcoin wallet address, and you, and you <laughs> send you send this amount. After about an hour, after about an hour or two, you go now to your account. You go now to your account. You come to bulk payment, and you now come to view credits. You now come here, mm -hmm. you now come here to view credit and you now have this spot. You now, if you want to renew somebody's account, you put the person's email address here. Kringle Cash, old member, not new member, old member. Once you put a Kringle Cash email address here, you now click on pay. It will automatically pay the person's account. Okay? Okay, and, and okay, the upline, I understand that. The upline will automatically have the upline will automatically have his bounty. So you can buy bulk payment directly from the admin. You can use it or you can buy from somebody who has bulk payment. It's transferable. For example, I can transfer you one bulk payment by just coming down here. I come down here. I put your credit cash email address. I select and I put the amount of bulk payment I want to put. I put your email address and I transfer to you. And my bulk payment will leave my account and goes to your account. You can use it to do payment. Mm -hmm. And also, once you have bulk payment, you can use it to register new people. By coming here, you select bulk payment. Once you put your email address, you come here, you select bulk payment. Okay, once you put the email address of the person, that's for new people, not old people. For old people, you go to your account directly and pay. But for new people, you put your email address, then you click on bulk payment, then you go to your credit cash, and make sure that you go to approved, approved registration. And you now approve that registration before you continue, before you proceed to complete registration. I hope that question is answered, Mr. Don. It's, it's answered, it's answered. Very good. Well done. Okay, Mr. John uh, Ese. Mr. John Ese, you have a question? I'm seeing your hands. I don't know why you have a question. John. Mr. John, you have a question? I'm seeing Mr. John eating. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yes. When you are eating, yeah, like that, try to give our own now. How can you be eating alone? Yeah? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you have a question? <laughs> nice for addition. Yes, please. Okay. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Derek, I want to know much about how to activate 
someone who is already in the system, but he is not able to. Hello. Not able to. The person is not able to pay his or her wallet ID. Uh, wallet is happy. How are you going to help such a person? Yeah, yes, you please. Ad, you use admin's credit. I just explained that. You use admin credit, and if the person is already in this, wait, the person is already in the system, and he doesn't have money. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, you pay for him now. You pay for him. If he doesn't have money, you pay for him. No, whatever. <laughs> What the, what the, what, uh, the one who is supposed to pay maybe on the 1st of uh, October. Right. You see that when you have downlines, they have to automatically uh, renew a uh, pay wallet to save you for the following month. Yes, every month. If you want to be active and, and, and if you want to earn yes. all the profits, all the benefits, yes. because the enemy will be adding yes. things as we are going forward. If you want to, if you want to have all the tools you have to renew your account every month. Unless you don't want to have, you don't want to be asked. I don't know any reason why people should not pay every month because we have all the tools. If you want to enjoy the tools, yes. then we should pay every month. That's how it is. Yes, please. And the second question is that if if the person has uh, omitted himself from admin support, you see that you can change your sponsorship from admin. If the person has changed it that way, can the person come back to have admin support? Sorry, ask again. I'm saying that when you go to the dashboard, you see that go to account. From the account downline, you can see that if you want to change uh, your uh, sponsor, admin, yes, yeah, sponsor. Then if the person has your downline has changed it, the, my downline has changed it. So you want to come back to the admin again? Can he come back? And which way can he follow? No, you can't come back. Once you change, you have changed. You can't come back. Wow. Yeah. So such a person, what can he do again? Nothing. Meaning he, he can't benefit from the uh, admin again. Why? You benefit everything. The only thing is that you can't change your sponsor. That's it. You benefit everything. Once you have changed... No, it was... It was... No, I, I understand. Once you have changed from admin, yeah. once you have changed your sponsor from admin to a certain sponsor, the sponsor will be receiving the $12 in Bitcoin. But if you have not changed from admin, you can change it and put your sponsor. But if you have already changed, you can't go back. And once you have changed, your sponsor that is indicated will have, yes. will have the $12 Bitcoin once they renew their account. Okay? Thank you. Um, I'm not... Uh, I don't get it. You don't get it. You don't understand what I'm saying. Yes, please. Okay. He said he, he he just pressed it, so it wasn't done intentionally. And he does not so know uh, the next sponsor. You don't need to know your sponsor. I don't even know my sponsor. You don't need to know your sponsor. <laughs> okay. It's not, it's, not, it's not important to know your. I don't know my sponsor. Honestly, I don't know my sponsor. I remember, yes, I know yes. the person that joined me, but in Kringle Cash, I don't know my sponsor. I just use a link and I really start uh, when Kringle Cash started. So it's not important to know your sponsor. Just let okay, him enjoy. Say. Let him enjoy whatever you are paying and you also should build your team. The most important thing is to build your team yes. and help them. That's the most important thing. Yes. Your sponsor, your sponsor yes. might have abandoned you, yes, but we, we are building now from, from scratch. Okay. Okay, we are definitely okay. going to the end of this program. Okay, thank uh, you. We don't want to take much of the time. Michael should be the last person I'm talking to right now. Michael from Ghana. Hello, Mike. It's been long. I'm seeing your great wives. Welcome, sir. Uh, hello. Good evening to everybody. Yeah, good evening, Michael. Um, um, first of all, always spending your time um, and staff to educate us about uh, whatsoever that is. It's been a long time that I'll, through, through the meeting, I've been quiet because I want to know much. I want to get more. So, but I just want to do a little contribution. And it's all about what we are all focusing on, which is the cementing. 
And if you look at the, the cementing, some of the people, some of our people are finding it difficult. But I believe that meetings, meetings like this will help us all. And uh, it will help us all to understand because most of the time, when the meeting is done, it's been put on the block. And some of our people go through and they get an understanding on what to do next. So all I want to just see tonight is just to appreciate your time. Well, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy, but uh, it's easy in other ways. We just want to, I just want to thank you tonight for, for all your time and your effort for always pushing us and for always um, bringing us back when things go halfway. What I want to say is yes, Jim. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you so, so much. Uh, that's the reason why I'm telling us that we need to keep hammering, hammering, hammering until when we have our final breakthrough. Of course, by then, it might be after two years from now, three years from now, um, uh, uh, when the breakthrough, we are happy, we are taking our jet plane, meeting in some island and enjoying ourselves, you know? So we, we, we'll just say this like a kind of history. You remember when we used to have just 20 people in our broadcast? Remember when some people were tired and they went to rest? Remember when some leaders gave up? You remember when this happened? It would just be part of the story, you know? It, all that will go into archives. So we need to keep, keep, keep hitting, hitting, hitting until when our desired success has been attained. So guys, let me quickly read um, um, the last thing on the chat before we go. Uh, uh, Stephen, please, you say that you are admin credit shows zero. What, uh, what I want to say, okay, I think you should send a support ticket. You send a support ticket, maybe uh, if your document has been reviewed, then send a support ticket and um, uh, if there is a problem, they will answer, you'll get answers. Uh, Mr. Jeremiah said, please, my early days in CBC, I registered my colleague, but now admin credit came up and he is fully participating. Is there a way he can change his sponsor back to me? Since I am the one who registered him, but when, uh, uh, but then I did, I did not know anything about referral link. My week, okay. Um, if that person's, Mr. Jeremiah, if that person's sponsor, is not admin, you can't change it anymore. If it is admin, you can change. But if it is not admin, you cannot change. That is like breaking the, the, the foundation. Admins cannot, it's like, it's like you, you are building a house and you are at the first floor and then you discover that there is, there is a hole somewhere and you need to remove that. And for you to remove that hole from the foundation, you need to break everything. You have to understand that that's how the IT, that's how the IT is. Okay, when people start changing sponsor, we are breaking our foundation. So we don't have, we can't do that. So I mean, I said, um, if somebody already have a sponsor, just concentrate. If I were you, I would just help the person to um, get the sponsor. All of you should work together, do transaction. Remember that the, the, the Bitcoin bounty is just the icing of the cake. The real thing, the real thing is the, um, the real thing is the big uh, is the transaction when people uh, uh, do transaction with you? That's the real thing. The twelve dollar in Bitcoin is just the icing. It's very small, um, but even though it's motivating, but then the real thing is transaction. So, guys, that is it for now. Um, okay, if admin is the is the sponsor, you just click on change sponsor from admin. You put your email address and the name, you click on change, you will see it coming, and then you can now select your name, you mark it as admin, uh, as a sponsor. So if the sponsor is admin, you can change that. It's very simple, okay? We have been here for almost an hour plus. We can continue again, guys. I will not want to abuse your time and the time of others and myself too. We have to end for now. The training has been so interesting, but I want to call upon you to invite all your people to come for this training where they can ask questions live. If you send me a question on WhatsApp, Telegram, whatever, I will not respond. Come for training. 
If you have something, uh, they say where somebody's fortune is, there lies the heart. So guys, thank you so much for being here for this training. Uh, we shall have another session again on Friday as from 8 p.m. Uh, if you're not in a WhatsApp group, make sure you join the WhatsApp group. You always have the link. You can share to your fellow exhibitions. They can come to the training and we move forward. Guys, it's all about unity, serving one another with love and respect. My name is Dave Eric. See you again on Friday. Bye now.